<laughs> on the 3rd of February 2024, the business world lost a giant. Nigerians were thrown into mourning by the fact that a family lost three. And a nuclear family lost three of their members, you know. But in all of this, a lot of persons, their bodies have been laid to the earth. They've been laid to rest. They are buried now. Uh, but their memories still linger on. But a lot of people, you know, spoke more about the father, Herbert Wigwe, as a professional, as the friend, as this, as that. And while all of that is lovely, we, they also held memorials and tribute nights for his family members, Doreen um, Chizoba Wigwe, and importantly, his first, his first son. Cheesy Wigwe, who died alongside his parents. And this man was just 29 years old. He would have been 13 next year. He died in February. His birthday, he died on the 10th of February. His birthday is the 30th of January. So just a few days after his 29th birthday was when he passed on. And this was somebody who for his 29th birthday had a blast. Now, um, while he was here, I did, know, I did not know Cheesy. I knew his father, I knew his mother. Not personally, but because these guys are influential persons. These are business people that you would want to, you know, learn from their feet. You would want to know what's happening with them. You would, you know, just those people. I just was interested in Access Bank, understandably. Right. I didn't know nothing about I didn't know nothing about their children. So when they said he died alongside Cheesy, it was really touching. And then I now started thinking, who is this man? Or who was this man? And the tribute night, you saw some of his friends come and say, oh, Cheesy was this, Cheesy was that. But one thing they all said in common was he was a witty person who makes people around him feel loved. And the, the, his, his boss actually spoke about him. And that intrigued me. Right. You know, we'd say that, oh, people tribute, people's tribute about Herbert was tear-jerking. I think the tribute of people who loved Cheesy was also tear-jerking. Because this was somebody that was 29 so understandably his friends were in their early late 20s early 30s and what have you so for grown men you know adults who uh just who you, you would think take life really casually for them to be in such state of deep grief concerning a friend you will know that that man impacted a lot of them and that was a statement a lot of them did or made right so let's talk cheesy wigwig that's the purpose of this video biography and things about him that you probably did not know including how you know did you, there's a video that trended yes tochi is immediate younger sister could not bring herself together to read nothing on his tribute night she had a friend read for her she was just crying her father's tribute however she was able to muster enough courage to speak though very 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 much destroyed very much in tears very much hard to put herself together but she wasn't as shattered as she was on her brother's tribute night and so she described we um cheesy as a best friend you know he, he used to clown her it was a thorn in her flesh would, you know typical elder brother thing said it would come to her room 2 a.m just for nothing just to disturb her you know and then it would, you know, jab our friends. They had this camaraderie that you would know that, okay, this is what siblings do have. And to some, it might seem like, oh, that's so humble of them. But I mean, they are siblings. They can't see themselves as in, in their own space. They are not like all the influential people that we see them to be, right? But let's talk cheesy. Let's talk cheesy, guys. He was born, like I mentioned, on the 30th of January, 1995. He was born in New York. Um, yeah, so he was born in New York. He had his education though in the United Kingdom. His primary education was in the UK and he was the only African child in his school. His secondary education was at the, excuse me, was at King's School in um, Canterbury in UK. He had a diploma first before he proceeded to get a BSc in Science, um, Technology and International Affairs at Georgetown University. Georgetown's University's Welsh, Welsh School of, this thing is long where I went to school, Welsh School of International something something, Foreign Services, yes, 
that was where he went to school. <laughs> so after his BSc, of course, that was in 2018, he returned to Nigeria. After his BSc education, he returned to Nigeria where he served in Lagos State. Now, the interesting thing is you hear a lot of persons say, oh yeah, where I served, I got retained. Oh, I'm trying hard to get retained where I serve. And while it does not happen for a lot of persons, people work their yeah, service here. Um, service in Nigeria, for those of you that are not watching um, in the country, is the National Youth Service Corp. It's a one-year compulsory um, servitude to your nation just after university education and if you know that you want to work in the nigerian market you have to from wherever you might have studied return home for your nysc so he did return home for his service and a lot of persons hope to be retained because if you know what the nigerian job market is saying you would want to be retained wherever you serve especially if it's a place that is good so some persons try to work their service here to let me like corporations institutions organizations wherever it is that they hope to land their dream job so they just stay there they go there as a uh, as a as a, as a youth cop member they in turn you know they just hope that you're able to now climb the ladder and then become permanent staff members because typically after your one year service you're supposed to leave that organization do you understand so this man served at the african finance corporation that was in 2019 that was where he served afc and it was there and after service they retained him and you know he worked his way until he became a senior financial analyst which was a position he held there until his demise so he's been there since 2019 basically and when he was there he was one of the pioneers for the entrepreneurial arm of afc which is why you know i said that his boss said things about him and his boss referred to him as somebody that proved himself beyond measures that when he came she was thinking oh the son of you know an influential person in the society he might carry himself a certain way but that he showed us that he was really committed to just working he wanted to make a name for himself you know and you know you read it in novels you see it in movies people saying oh i don't want my father's money i want to make my own money and whatnot and she said she was one of such persons who just wanted to make a name for themselves so basically he was there working put his head down worked and grew to his position and maintained it until he died and another interesting thing about Chizu Bigwe is that he was always willing to learn and the prior to his death he was working on attending or getting an M no what's the word now getting an MBA degree yeah, he wanted to attend an MBA program at the Harvard School of Business Harvard Business School he was hoping to start his own in fact he used to own a construct I mean I don't know if he used to if the construction company still exists but you know while he was in college you know I said that You know, I said that his college education, his university education was in the U.S. Um, he, he, he owned a construction company. He used to sell Supreme T-shirts. I mean, basically an industrious person, 29 years old. And he wanted to own his own you know, business. He was open to uh, uh, merge into finances like his father. So he, he had a lot of high hopes and ambition. This was, his life was a story of somebody who had so much to give, so much to do, and who was working towards it. But that was cut short for him you know and um something else that people said about him is that he's the life of the party so she said that a brother is somebody that or was i mean it's hard to refer to these persons in a past tense but basically a brother was somebody that would work really hard he would not joke with his work and his friends testified to that saying that monday through maybe say thursday evening fr thursday evening friday during the day it was speaking about um afc speaking about cfa so yes interestingly this man if you know cfa yes if you're in the financial world if you know cfa exams you know this is one of the toughest exams people rather do i can than go take cfa honestly me i would do i cannot take CFA because like cfa this is they fear me myself yes so <laughs> yeah i just crushed level one so he was preparing for level two See, you know, see, I mean, that was his life is one that is really interesting, yes, which is why I'm talking about him. Yeah, so you, they said that Mondays through Friday, we'll be talking about CFAs, talking about prepare. That was the time that for two weeks it ghosted everybody. That if you know Cheesy, you would know that it was always on Snapchat, it was always in his Snapchat. So he didn't post on Snapchat, they didn't see updates from him for two weeks. Turned out this man had ghosted everybody to go prepare for his exams. You know, I mentioned that I wanted to merge, you know, in fi financial words and, word and all that, in financial world and all that. So, but that from Friday to Sunday morning, 
I mean, Monday morning, even like Sunday, you understand now, early hours of Sunday, early hours of Monday morning from Sunday evening. That man was the life of the party. He had the latest parties. He organized the latest parties. If you invite him to any party, just know that you are there for a good time. Cheesy will make sure that you have a good time when it comes to drinking, when it comes to, you know, it was just, it was just life of the party. And Toshi said that Cheesy would like to be, ref loved to be referred to as uh, a corporate, corporate, um, corporate, what's it called now? Star boy. Corporate, I don't know, what's the word? I mean, it's escaping my head now. Oh God, I can't remember what she used, but basically somebody who was in the corporate world, rock star, corporate rock star. That's what he liked to be referred to as. And if you see the videos, you know, of him trending online, you see that I was usually al almost always in a suit, even while partying. He might lose the, the, you know, the suit, but he had his shirt, his white shirt tucked in. Those pan trousers, but still have it hella good time. You know, he was always having a good time. He was always available for fun. And one of his friends said, Oh, it's 30th birthday. They just called him randomly one morning to say, Oh, we are thinking of going to this place for my part for my birthday. Are you available? I said, Yeah, I mean, count me in. He went and got his passport. They had to buy the tickets for him that very day, that very moment. And he was able to make it in time for the flight. And they had a bash, they had a blast, you know. So it's all of his friends refer to him as somebody who would make you laugh who was who, who ensure that he was kind to everybody that some person would just say oh i know cheesy and they were like okay how do you know him oh he helped me this 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 and they're like he didn't tell us we had no idea he did that to you or he did that for you that was the kind of person that cheesy wigwe lived his life has i mean cheesy lived wigwe lived his life I mean, us, I think that's the word, yes. So it's quite sad to see Cheesy go. It's quite sad to see anybody go. Least of all, three family members go the same day. And I can't imagine how devastated, you know, his other siblings would be from Tochi, David, Anna, Okashi, that he, he, I mean, the family left behind. Of course, his friends promised, Cheesy's friend promised him that they will definitely um, take care of his siblings because that is what he would expect of them that they would ensure that his siblings still have the best of life I mean everything cheesy wanted to give to his siblings they were going to do that for him from his you know his god brother to one of his best friends to his godmother so a lot of his other friends were explained that they've had relationships with him for 15 years they met in primary school some met him in college some met him in secondary school a lot of these guys you know it's just really sad to see any of them gone. I just feel like it's important that we also highlight the life of these other persons, not just Herbert, because yes, it was the patriarch in the home, but there was a matriarch, there was a first son who assumed his responsibility as the first child and upheld that up until his demise. So while he might not be here to, you know, achieve some of the things he dreamed of, um, he might not be here to do some of the things he always wanted to do, we just hope that God will help his family, give them the, I mean, the remaining ones, his aged grandparents, his siblings, his friends, you know, give them the fortitude to bear this irreparable damage, this loss that they have experienced, and of course... Um, Cheese's memory will forever live on. I mean, it's sad that he was unable to, unlike his father, who has, who have things that now have outlived him, who has left a corporation, a business behind, a university behind that would, you know, that already has outlived him and would remain for, you know, generations to come. He was unable to do that, which was one of the things he hoped he could achieve in his lifetime. So yeah, we just hope that his memory continues to live on in the hearts and minds of his truly, you know, his truly beloved, the loved ones um, that he left behind. I'm going to see you in the next video. If you had a relationship with cheesy and you would like to let us know in the comment section please do well to drop it for us i'll be waiting for you let's have you know a gist of communication let's just talk about everything cheesy everything we way and yeah i'll see you in the next one until then guys please take care of yourselves and subscribe to this channel like this video if you enjoyed it share with family and friends don't forget to, and keep your comment respectful very importantly all right guys bye that's the word yes so it's quite sad to see cheesy go it's quite sad to see anybody go least of all three family members go the same day and i can't imagine how devastated you know his other siblings would be from tochi david anna okashi that he, he i mean the family left behind of course his friends promised cheesy's friend promised him that they will definitely um, take care of his siblings because that is what he would expect of them that they would ensure that his siblings still have the best of life I mean everything cheesy wanted to give to his siblings they were going to do that for him from his you know his god brother to one of his best friends to his godmother so a lot of his other friends were explained that they've had relationships with him for 15 years they met in primary school some met him in college some met him in secondary school a lot of these guys you know 
it's just really sad to see any of them gone. I just feel like it's important that we also highlight the life of these other persons, not just Herbert, because yes, it was the patriarch in the home, but there was a matriarch, there was a first son who assumed his responsibility as the first child and upheld that up until his demise. So while he might not be here to, you know, achieve some of the things he dreamed of, um, he might not be here to do some of the things he always wanted to do, we just hope that God will help his family, give them the, I mean, the remaining ones, his aged grandparents, his siblings, his friends, you know, give them the fortitude to bear this irreparable damage, this loss that they have experienced, and of course... Um, Jesus' memory will forever live on. I mean, it's sad that he was unable to, unlike his father, who has, who have things that now have outlived him, who has left a corporation, a business behind, a university behind that would, you know, that already has outlived him and would remain for, you know, generations to come. He was unable to do that, which was one of the things he hoped he could achieve in his lifetime. So yeah, we just hope that his memory continues to live on in the hearts and minds of his truly, you know, his truly beloved, the loved ones um, that he left behind. I'm going to see you in the next video. If you had a relationship with cheesy and you would like to let us know in the comment section please do well to drop it for us i'll be waiting for you let's have you know a gist of communication let's just talk about everything cheesy everything we way and yeah i'll see you in the next one until then guys please take care of yourselves and subscribe to this channel like this video if you enjoyed it share with family and friends don't forget and keep your comment respectful very importantly all right guys bye